Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today is a casual day at home. We're gonna clean. Larry's gonna run out and run a few errands and I really need to catch up on cleaning. Like, oh, you can't see it. I'm gonna show you. Here's a pile of laundry. Here's a pile of laundry on the floor that just needs caught up. I've been putting it off and putting it off and now I have a mound of laundry in the bedroom that's like, three feet tall at least. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. So I'm going to do that. We're going to maybe do a little bit of spring cleaning, get you guys motivated. So if you have laundry to do, if you have stuff to do, let's do it together. Say hi, babes. Hi, babes. Yeah. So what are you doing today? I have to run to the bank. I have to run to the donation center to drop some stuff off. We kind of match. We do kind of match. Hello. Hi. Hi. So you have to run to the donation center, run to the bank. Run to the bank. And I think that's it. Do you hear my crunchy hair? Crunchy hair. <laughs> and this requires air spray. <laughs> <gasps> you have crunchy hair. My earring. I have no hair. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> Can you put it yeah. on? Yeah. Here, you hold this while I put it on. I'll hold this. What happened? Oh no, you touched it. <laughs> Your camera is possessed. Uh, that's funny. Oh! Okay. Does I get elbowed? <laughs> that was funny. Alright, outfit of the day. This top, which is from Kohl's, it's like a crop top, it's loose and flowy, which I like. And then these are the jeans that I always wear. <laughs> Larry's throwing stuff at me. And then these are my American Eagle ripped jeans. I actually had shorts on today, but Florida's a bit chilly today. Yeah, it's only 70 degrees. Say it again. It's only 70 degrees. Boom. <laughs> In our defense, though, was it not 93 yesterday? It was yesterday. So when you go from 93 degrees to... 70 degrees it feels chilly but we are taking advantage of it we're opening all the windows which i need to open the bedroom windows I'm gonna transfer some stuff into the dryer and i gotta fold a load of clothes in the bedroom and i need to wash the bedding just call me cinderella today cinderella cinderella tina the talking dummy <laughs> I hope you guys know what that was from. Oh my gosh. Never ending pile of laundry. Just keeps going. So guys, I told you I was having kind of like an off day, a poo day, wasn't feeling myself. Well, something incredible just happened and I'm gonna sit down and share it with you guys. And I did just post on my Instagram um, that I was kind of having like a weird blah off kind of day. And if anybody needed advice or any kind of, not so much advice, but any, I don't know. We're going to go through some things. You guys may have submitted a few things to me, so I'm just going to answer those for you guys and share what just arrived. Oh my god. I <laughs> Okay, I need to contain my excitement, but <laughs> guys, this is so like... I think I just gave myself a little bit of a weird headache from high-pitched squealing so much. I'm gonna get a knife. We're gonna unbox that together and then I'm gonna go through some questions with you guys. Hi guys, okay, so we are officially sitting down. So I showed you a box and we are going to unbox it together. I'm so excited to unbox this. I can't, I can't believe this. So, I'm, I know what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, okay. First of all, I can't even believe. I literally feel like I have anxiety and it's not like the bad anxiety. It's like the, like overwhelmed of emotions and like, <sighs> I know this sounds so dramatic, but this is like something that I honestly never thought 
whatever happen ever okay guys are you ready oh my god it's my freaking i cannot even believe it it's my silver play button for reaching 100,000 subscribers guys look at it oh it's so hard to see because it's bright in here but there we go is this even real life I cannot oh. presented to Mindy Minx for passing 100,000 subscribers oh. okay oh my god I mean, it's just so real. It's so, okay. I need to collect myself. So first of all, to you guys, um, I wouldn't have this and this would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. And I just, I'm like lost for words. Like I literally don't know what to say and I'm just so thankful that you guys are here for the journey and Larry is currently not here. He's out and this wouldn't be what it is without him, without you guys. And I truly, truly thank you guys and love you guys so much for supporting us and coming along this crazy wild journey with us. It has been so fun and there's so many more moments that are yet to come that we just haven't got there yet. And yeah, I'm just, I just am really, really excited to get to share this with you guys. So thank you, and I love you, and I don't want to be too sappy and crazy, but I love you guys. Honestly, you guys are like my family, and just, <laughs> so my plans for that is once I get our office all set up, there's going to be like a Mindy side, a Larry side, and I want to hang that like where my desk goes I guess the next goal would technically be gold I guess it's uh 1 million subscribers so if that ever happens holy crap that would be crazy that would be absolutely mind-blowing and amazing but you never know what life has in store so we'll see um so before I got that in the mail it's so funny that that came because it really cheered me up and made me really happy and excited but I do want to take this time to just like kind of talk to you guys about I don't know feelings I guess you would say or emotions and anxiety and all of those types of things because what you do see on YouTube is usually like the glorified things all the amazing things and wonderful things and that's great and all but sometimes it's important to show that we're still human because I am human I'm not invincible I'm not perfect I'm not any of those things and <sighs> I woke up today and I just, first of all, I've got these weird health issues, which they're not really health issues. I don't want to call them that. But um, once a year, I do have to have an MRI because I do have a pituitary adenoma. And I actually found out I had it several years ago, about five years ago. And it was very small. It was only four millimeters. It is now up to, I believe it was eight millimeters. And I think once it hits 10, it has to be removed. So that was kind of like Something that was on my mind only because I'm getting like really bad headaches. I don't think it's because of that. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I started getting anxious and a little overwhelmed about thinking about that because I do have my scans that are coming up this summer. So I have to go in July to get those done. So I was thinking about that, but that's besides the point. Um, for those of you who don't know what a pituitary adenoma is, it's basically, it's not a tumor because it's not big enough to be qualified as that, but the pituitary is where your hormones and everything are located in your brain. It's kind of a gland or area located, I think it's right behind the eyes. I don't know, but basically I have a friend where my <laughs> hormones are controlled that should not be there. So that was kind of like stressful and, and I'm fine. There's people that have much more like severe issues. It's not cancerous. I mean, there's people that are out there that are battling very severe things and I pray for you guys. And so I'm thankful. I'm thankful, but I just, just realize I'm not complaining. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like whining or complaining. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just trying to share real life with you guys because I think it's important to share real life and not just all the la-di-da life because <laughs> it's life isn't always like that. But 
So I was kind of concerned about that and then I noticed like I'm getting this thing where I do want to say like I have anxiety but I don't want to say I have like the worst type of anxiety. I would say that I have like a generalized, I've had it ever since I was little where I get like this really tight, crazy like clenched feeling in my chest and I feel like I almost can't like catch my breath where I'll take a deep breath in and I just, I'm not taking enough air in. I know that sounds really crazy, but that has been happening to me a bit lately and I really don't know why because, I mean, things are going great. I'm in a positive place in my life and a happy place in my life. And so that's kind of an interesting feeling, sensation that I'm getting. And I think that it's important to kind of like think about what might be triggering those, you know, feelings. But I don't know. I don't know. So talking about like the future, I'm trying to like improve the videos, improve the content, improve the quality, you know, for you guys. I know you guys love the videos and love everything and I'm trying to keep that going and make sure that you guys aren't disappointed because this to me is everything. Like this choice, this career, if you want to call it a career, it means the world to me to have you guys to sit down and talk to on screen and to like get your DMs to have your messages, your comments on my video saying how thankful you are, um, that I may have helped you with something or how excited you are because Larry makes you guys laugh and just those melt my heart and it makes all of this just the dream. Like this to me is the dream and I'm very thankful and happy to be doing this and sharing, you know, my life with you guys. We are also working on future plans, which is really, really exciting, and I'm so excited to share that you guys with you guys like once it actually happens, but right now everything's just in motions, and we're kind of working on it and seeing what route to take and what to do, and that can be kind of stressful because you don't know where to start, what to do, what... That's the thing with YouTube, guys, is... You're in a place where you're like, you're you're tipping your toes in the water and sometimes you, you fall off in the deep end and your head goes underwater and then you pop back up and it's just, motorcycle going by. It's just kind of like a really crazy learning curve, which I enjoy every minute of, but in this kind of magical realm, I'm going to say this realm, like you don't really know what <laughs> you're doing and you kind of just find your way and make your own path, which I think is really, really fun. But that is my kind of like spiel on, I guess, everything that I have been thinking. But I did say on Instagram, what did I write? So I had posted on Instagram in my story that I was feeling a little stressed, feeling a little like not all chipper and excited. And I said, real talk for the vlog, ask me questions, ask me anything, mental health, anxiety tips, teen questions, ask away darlings. So I've had quite a few things that were sent in. So I do want to go through some of those. What are some things that help with anxiety? So this is like a hard one. The first thing that it depends on your level of anxiety, but I definitely would recommend seeking professional help. But the things that I try to do because I've been feeling it is I just, I think that trying to figure out what is trigger triggering your anxiety is kind of helpful. And then just try to focus on your breathing. And that is one of the most important things because even now I feel it. It's so tight and it's so strange, but I do have anxiety. I have talked to my general physician about it, but I have not went to actual therapy, which I think actually it is quite okay to go to therapy. And it's something that I might be doing um, in the future, just because it's nice to have somebody to talk to that can maybe understand exactly what you're going through and pinpoint what's going on. But uh, anxiety tips, I would just say, focus on your breathing, maybe try to channel that energy into something else. I, I It's hard for me to give advice because I don't want to give wrong advice, but what I do when I have anxiety is I listen to some very calming music. I read a book. I'll take a nice bubble bath or I'll even go out and I'll do something like I'll go walk outside or just even sitting outside inhaling the fresh air with a book. Um, I find to be really helpful. So those are kind of my tips with that. Okay. So somebody asked, what are your tips on having anxiety attacks in public? <sighs> I had an anxiety attack at work though. I, when I get really, really nervous, I laugh and then I cry. But I was really, really overwhelmed at work one day and I started that like hysterical laughing, which 
caused me to like bury my hands in my face and then I started crying, bawling my eyes out. I could not catch my breath. And when that happened, I just had to walk away. I had to walk outside. I had to get away from people. I had to, you know, remove myself from the situation and just drink some water, try to collect myself. Um, I called my mom, I called Larry. Call somebody that you can trust if you're not with them in person. If you're with that person in person, try to talk to them, try to be with somebody. And yeah, if you're in a public setting and that happens and you are surrounded by loads and loads of people, I would just say honestly, the best thing to do would be excuse yourself from the scene and just get yourself in a quiet spot, even if it's for a little bit of time and just try to catch your breath. And if you can't like recover it, I think it's, you know, important and okay to realize that maybe you need to go home and relax and go to the car and just chill. I hope that's helpful. Let's go surprise Larry. Larry is home guys and I am gonna surprise him with the plaque. I'm gonna hide it, hide it, and then I'm gonna, I got an idea. It's so bright outside. Oh, people. Hi babe. Hi babe. How was your trip? Good. How was your feeling? Good. I hope he loves it. He's gonna be excited. Walk forward. <laughs> Walk forward. Walk forward. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. And then you can sit wherever you want. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> you saw the, the thingy? I saw a box. Or, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I ruined the surprise! Uh, the box was sitting on the floor! Look! Oh, that's cool! <laughs> It's upside down, Mink. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh, my God. <laughs> silly, Mink. Lead you right into the room where the empty box is laying that gives the big old reveal away. Where are we going to hang it? In the office once we get that set. Right above your desk? Yeah. I want to work on the office now. In the meantime. It's given us, like, complete motivation. Yee! That's nice! How's that? I like it! Yay! I cannot believe I left that box over there. I saw the box. Oh, I know. Yes, it was! It's such a Mindy moment, man! Who does that? Who leaves the box there when you're trying to surprise somebody? I'm such a dork! <laughs> So this is going to be a shout out to Mackenzie, who is her mom actually, no, her grandmother actually works with my mom. And so hi Mackenzie, if you're watching, hopefully when we come to Ohio, hi, Mackenzie. we will get to meet you. So we might, are we going to go in August back to Ohio, babe? So maybe we might be coming to Ohio in August. Leading to Mackenzie's question, she asked if I was going to VidCon. So VidCon, I believe, is in July. I believe it's in California, and I believe it is a YouTube convention. However, I have no idea how that works. Like, I don't know if you have to be invited to VidCon, or I don't know, and I should probably know. So as of right now, I have no idea. Um, but when I find out, if I am going, I will let you know. Aw, oh, somebody said, sorry, you're having a bad day, but thank you for sharing that you're just being human. Hope it gets better. Thank you so that much. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Okay, so a lot of people have asked, like, how I stay in fit and my diet tips and tips that you have for someone trying to switch to a healthier lifestyle. And with that, I have fluctuated all over the board. Like, so... Last year I was dealing with a lot of stress with work. I was working six days a week. For those of you who don't know what I was doing, a lot of you have asked, I was a office manager at a pediatrician office. And it was just, it was a lot. I was there, I was opening the office, I was closing the office. It was a great learning experience, but it was a lot. And I was also doing YouTube. So I have started eating healthier and my best advice would just be to cut out sugars, not healthy sugars, like processed sugars, processed foods, like try not to eat the bag of potato chips and reach for the candy bars. Like instead of eating those kind of items, I go for like the fresher items. So lately what I've been doing is eating lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, like fruits as in like berries and mangoes and bananas. Those are pretty much my go-to right now. I'm also doing quinoa and a lot of vegetables. 
and I find that that really helps and then like lean meats. So if you eat meat, that's an option too. And that's really what I've been doing, drinking tons of water. And I will say too, that eating healthy has made a huge difference in my skin and it's insane. Like, <laughs> so drink lots of water. Oh, green tea, green tea, water, green tea. And I am still drinking my coffee, but I am eating healthier. So I would just say making those simple changes, like just to start, make the simple changes of cutting out like the processed foods. Thanks. Come on over. Things Come have been on a little in. bit hectic around here uh, for several days. I think they're going to start quieting down. However, I did have a short list of people that I wanted to do a shout out for. And unfortunately that short list, whatever it was written on, it is gone. You lost your list? I don't oh, have come, my list. Come this away, dear. I'm going to move this a little bit. We match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will go through some notes and try and find where the uh, names were that I wanted to do the shout out for. And if I can't find them, I'll run through some things and see if I can make a new list. Yeah. So I apologize okay. for that. That's... My fault. Hi, baby. Lexi, by the way, is feeling so much better. She still sneezes here or there, but she's doing very well after her procedure. <laughs> There you go, little one. And um, she's spunky, as you can tell. All right, this is a good question. How do you overcome being shy to do a YouTube channel? <laughs> My first oh, video, I was so shy. Yeah, she wouldn't let me stay in the house. I had to either go in the garage or leave the house completely. And she closed the door, so I couldn't hear what was going on. And where I was, there had to be a radio playing, so I couldn't hear what she was saying. Yeah, I was so shy. Even if like I watched that first video, it makes me cringe a little bit because I was so sick and so like not myself exactly like I didn't let my personality come out <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and when I finally did it just felt really good you did it <laughs> I did it I think it might have helped with me actually being allowed to stay in the same room eventually when she was doing her videos uh, because if she would have a Mindy moment I would laugh or push the buzzer or, or ring the bell for her good comments and I think that might have eased her stress a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then somebody asked if YouTube has made me more confident or less confident and it has made me more confident. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I used to be really self-conscious, conscious, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. Of like what people would think of me or what people would say and with our relationship for example that's another thing i would be really self-conscious about that and now i'm not and i'm so happy to be able to share that with you guys and you guys have given me confidence as well and by being so supportive and loving and kind and it really has just made me so confident and it's a good feeling and when you look like me for my whole life it's just kind of easy to just not Larry, you're cute. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm cute. That's like Rudolph. And remember, don't worry. If you can talk to one person and have a regular conversation, it's just like sitting in front of the camera and talking to the camera. That camera is your best friend, is your parent, is your whomever you like to spend time to and talk the most to. You just talk to the camera. Yeah. Oh, I want to do an update too. What's your update? I have started to try and help the Minx uh, respond to some of the comments oh, yeah. down below and if you see something with the name Randall Stevens and you're going who's Randall Stevens that would be me um, that is Andy Dufresne's bad guy name in Shawshank Redemption and before I was retired I was kind of a ghost on social media so I had a different name and that was the name I chose and it just hasn't been switched yet I don't know how to do it and I don't know if it doesn't matter. But if you see a comment and you go, who's Randall Stevens? That would be me. What would you suggest for somebody that has anxiety? I would try and think of your worst moment or your worst day when you're starting to have the anxiety level rise and compare what you're experiencing then to your worst day. And if it's not as bad as your worst day, then just control your breathing, take a deep breath, and try and relax and go on with whatever it is you were you were doing. Yeah, I'm sure you had to help a lot of people that were probably having panic attacks and, and anxiety attacks when you were working that mm -hmm. were in bad situations. And yeah. sometimes when I have mine, like 
I remember one really bad one that I had where I just had to go in the shower. I, I just had to go. You know, go go find a safe place. By all means, get try and if you can. I know sometimes you can't, but if you can, try and put some distance between you and whatever the situation is that's causing you the anxiety. Mm -hmm. If that's not possible, again, just compare to what you're experiencing then to your worst ever, and hopefully your worst ever is not as bad as what you're experiencing them and kind of kind of I don't want to say put things in perspective but try and try and rationalize and and alter your your breathing take some deep breaths and, and get some air in your lungs I need that advice when I'm having my issues mm. you just get quiet when I have mine well I want to give you some space and you know don't be afraid to ask for help either oh yeah that's true that's my biggest problem i get i get focused so much on something that when it starts going wrong i don't want to ask for help i want to fix it myself and i don't want to burden somebody else with coming over to try and fix something that i can't figure out but if you really ask, is that you yeah why don't you just ask me because i've always been i don't want to be the guy that has to have somebody help him i'm the person that's supposed to help somebody else Aww. And so if, if you have someone you can help, ask for their help. That's so sweet. Well, you better come ask me for help when you need help. The reason I did this little sit down was because I was feeling poo this morning. You had a rough morning. I did have a rough morning. Yeah. I had it coming from all angles. I It made me feel hot <laughs> and anxious. And then it just set the tone for the day, which... Kind of sucks because you shouldn't let things like that alter your feelings and alter your whole day and it was just it it's very rare that usually doesn't happen but it was one of those things that it did happen today yeah the human mind is amazing it can store a lot of things and if you have something up there that's bothering you try and get rid of it make space for new better things okay we're gonna end this video here guys i know it was kind of weird it was like the intentions of doing a vlog and spring cleaning and laundry and it turned into unboxing a YouTube uh, silver plate. And Congratulations. Thank you. And talking about anxiety and health. and. Was she talking about anxiety before I showed up? I teased the mink. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Foxy, what you doing? I'm so tired. Maybe I need a nap. Tired. Take a nap, mink. She took one yesterday. Lost about half the day. I slept for four hours yesterday. Yeah. Okay, anyways. All right, guys. So we are going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Bye.